Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Today I decided to meet you guys at the fork in the road, I guess the fork in the road, for Wolf Fort and Elmo Village, right here on the map. Uh, yeah, I figured we'd just make it all the way back here, save a little bit of time, seeing how well we already been through the other areas and we've already fought all these monsters. Uh, yeah, uh, oh yeah, uh, Estelle and Joshua, they got up to level 22, Tita did not. Um, I didn't run into as many enemies as I thought I was going to on the way down, but eh, that's fine. The enemies out here give so little experience compared to inside the actual tower. Like, I'm, I definitely think we did that a little bit out of order given the uh, amount of experience and levels that we got there. These guys are giving like three, oh, there's another uh, chest that probably has an encounter. Yeah, but these guys have like three experience points. Two, oh, four for Tita, sorry. So yeah, things uh, things aren't going as, oh, look, a sheep. Things aren't going as fast as they were for levels. Oh, that is a lot. That is a lot of sheep. Um, yeah. Tita? Yes, absolutely. Bushaka? Laka? Mm, probably should have just went with Booyah, right? I kind of wish that one moved with the rest of the group. Oh, it's Estelle's turn. Uh, let's see. Can we do... Yeah. This should kill some of them. Oh, it should kill... One. I killed one. Bad touch. <laughs> oh, not not funny game. Awful sense of humor. And I guess these two. Thank you. So that one's gone loco, which is never a good sign. Stop trying to bad touch me, you sick perverts. That didn't didn't kill him, huh? Interesting. Now, let's see, Joshua. You go over here and you just kill this guy. There you go. Wow, oh, you actually hit him. Shocking. All right, what is this gonna be? Hit three. Everyone's favorite Dragon Ball character. Hit three. We got hit two on her. We don't have a hit on you. Don't. Have, okay, let's put a hit out on Tita. Sorry, girl. I know we just made friends, but. Yeah, you now have a you now have a price on your head. Let's read the chest. I think these I think someone said these do actually repeat themselves, but I guess they don't in future games. You leave me alone, you fungus snake, even though you're not a fungus snake. You're a different kind of snake. There's the I actually just blew my mind there for a second. I was like really confused like where we were. I don't think we've been down here yet. Like, positive we haven't been down here. No, because we went to Wolf Fort first. We might have come down here for like a second and I turned around, maybe? Probably not. They definitely didn't get any of the chests on the way down if we did. All right, I think that's it. Yeah, because we just came from over there. I'm assuming this is Elmo Village because of the wood fencing. Yes. Wow, so this is Elmo, huh? I like it. Feels homely. A lot less red, though. Uh, what's that smell? Joshua, did you... Oh, that's just the sulfur in the water. I guess... <laughs> I guess that's just what happens when the water pours out of the hot springs, huh? Ah, oh, really? Smells like someone left eggs out on in the sun for a year. Oh, Jesus Christ. That wouldn't be unbearable. Well, if I hold my breath, it's not too bad, I guess. Hee <laughs> hee. It's not as strong as usual, though. There's hardly any steam coming out. Maybe it's tied to the pump breaking down. Want to go ahead and see about fixing it? No. I want to go see the shops. Okay, the, the key to the pump shed is back at the inn. Miss Mayo has it. Uh, we'll have to get that first. No problem. To the inn we go. You mean here, right? The inn here. We're not back in Zeiss, correct? Yeah, probably here. Bye, what do you have? 
You have fluffy spring eggs? Well, thank you very much. I have not eaten that before. Is that all you have? That is all you have. Could buy some more reviving things, but I, I like my potluck stuff. <laughs> it saves me money. Okay, where are the fluffy eggs? Have, do I know Hellfire eggs? That looks really not like something I've eaten before. I mean, I guess I could have actually just selected it, right? Wouldn't it just tell me in like the tooltip? Yeah, I don't see that there. No, actually, no, that thing's not there. All right, let's eat it. Huh, okay, cool. This stuff I've definitely eaten. Can we make any more pot things? Yes, how many? One. You know, it doesn't really replace the ones we lost in the tower, but it does replace some of them. Or one of them. What's this? Just a random residence house? Do you have anything for me to steal? Of course you don't. Just sad. I want more things to steal. Where's the inn? The Maple Leaf Inn. What is this, Canada? Hi, Miss Mayo. Oh, hello, Tita. I'm glad you're here. Mr. Murdoch just got in touch with me a little while ago. Is it true that the professor is making you do the repair while he's off doing adios knows what? It's, it's not like that. He was planning to come here until I said something about it. Ah, well, bless your heart, child. But do you know, but you know you spoil that old coot, don't you? He's always been the sort to completely lose himself in research, given half the chance. Ha 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 ha. Energetic old granny, isn't she? Well, she obviously knows the professor. And who might you be? Oh, let me introduce you. This is Estelle and this is Joshua. Uh, they're from the Bracer Guild and they're looking out for me. Did I check... The board. I... I did. Didn't I? Yes, there was only two. Oh, we didn't report it. We didn't report the other two quests that we... Nah, that's fine. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Well, what do you know? Please, do pardon me. I'm the owner of the Maple Leaf Inn. Uh, you can call me Miss Mayo. Russell and I have been friends since we were knee-high to a grasshopper. You were extremely tidy then. Tita is almost like my own granddaughter. Ah, oh, okay. Hee <laughs> hee. All right, Miss Mayo. Uh, is the oral pump really broken? I mean... That'd be a weird joke. Like, oh, the, 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 the pump to the hot spring is broken. Can you send someone? They get here. Oh, is the pump broken? No, I was just playing with you. Sorry about that. I'm just old and senile. I'm afraid so, dear. I think the 40-year-old beast may finally be on its last leg. Ah, well, I wanted to replace it at some point anyways. Can you handle it, Tita? You betcha. Okay, oh, just a sec. Thank you for the pump shed key. Just go north of the village square, up the hill. The pump shed's right there. I really appreciate it. All right, cool. That's a door, I thought that was a sign. That's also a door. Well, let's go back here, you got anything? No. Do you sell stuff here, or do you just like make us rest? Hmm, this looks like a bar area. Maybe we'll be able to, what is, is this the hot spring? This is the hot spring. Cleaning in progress, what's this one? Cleaning in progress. Hey, I would like to go to the hot spring. All right, so I'm assuming we're gonna like fix the engine and then come here And then there'll be like an awkward scene where Joshua goes in the wrong room and spies on Estelle and then hilarity ensues I give that an 8 out of 10 chance of actually happening 2 out of 10 it's Tita And then we gotta call the police on Joshua because he you know now has to register on a list and no more no more trick-or-treating at his house Hello. I mean, guess. I'd rather room numbers, but I guess if you only have three rooms, it really doesn't matter. We're gonna go up here and to the right. Not, well, not here, but up the stairs and to the right. You guys need to put more treasures in your house that I can just take. I'm itching to steal people's treasures as a JRPG protagonist. So we're clearly going to be going there at some point. 
This is the shed. Yeah, I know it's locked. Unlock it. We just get the key. So this is the pump shed. How could you tell? That's right. It sends hot water to the inn and the to the well to uh, and to, to the well in the town square. I'm assuming just water to the town square, not hot water. Well, let's try that key. There's a big ass engine. Wow, so this is the pump, huh? You'd never know it was so old from how well maintained it is. He, well, I think my grandpa comes in at least once a year to keep it running well. Forty years ago, people didn't really know much about ornaments, so grandpa created this orbital pump to show people what a difference orbital technology could make into their lives. Oh, okay. So this place probably has some sentimental value for your grandfather then, I guess. And that's why he kept it in such good condition. Oh, you know, he likes the town having business, like maybe this town is important to him, and the hot springs bring in, like, tourists and money, and they don't want to lose that? Right. Or it could be sentimental value, sure. Let's see, first up is the systems check. And if that's okay, then we have to make sure there are no problems with the impeller or pipes. I almost asked why there's an impeller there, but it's the fan. The, that's how the pump works. Um, can we do anything to help? Oh, you can stay out of my goddamn way! I mean, oh, it's fine. This is a uh, one-person job anyway. You guys should go to the inn and relax. It might be the cavitation and water hammer. Hmm, what to check next? Aha! Uh -huh. It's a surging problem! I figured it wouldn't be any, any use. Apparently not. Maybe we should just take our advice and wait at the inn. Why not, right? Our only job was to bring her here, yeah? Like, we're not mechanics. And I dig here. This looks like a part, like a spot that I should be able to, like, dig through for buried treasure. Or, like, I don't know, probably a deceased pest. And if I had to take a guess, it's right next to a house. Hello again, how's Tita doing? She's hard at work. We'd figured we'd probably just get in the way, so we'll stay here. <laughs> well, you just might be right at that. She's almost as talented as Russell himself. Hard to argue with that after watching her at work. I'm just amazed that she's working at the Central Factory at her age. I'd figure there'd be child, child labor laws or something against that. And no matter what, she's always so sweet. Always has a smile for everyone. But get in front of her, get in front of a machine and she'll tinker with it. Or get her in front of a machine and she'll tinker, it, uh, tinker with it for hours. She loves it. She's just a fine girl. But still. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Uh, hey, Mrs. Mayo. Welcome back, Ed. What's getting you all frothing at the mouth? I, um, wanted to ask you something. Did that lady from Grantsel leave? A lady from Grantsel? Oh, the guest from yesterday. She went out for a walk, but she hasn't come back yet. I thought so. Uh, this is awkward. What? She Isn't she in the village? Uh, well, actually, I saw her by the village gate. She said she was going to go and take in the scenery or something. Out on the plains? She'd have to be a fool to go where all the monsters are. You complete idiot! You didn't stop her? I mean, I, I did try. Uh, she just wouldn't listen. I don't know how seriously she took what I said, but I'm worried. Um, pardon me? What? Are you new guests? Do you remember what time the, you saw that that lady by the gates? I think it was around noon. At least that's about when I get back. Noon. Yeah, I think we can catch up with her. Uh, we should get going before it's too late. Huh? Well, we're braces if you couldn't tell by looking. We'll head out into the plains and find this girl, don't worry. No kidding? What a stroke of luck, yes, please. But I expect to be paid. You have no right to even ask for their help. But fine, the guest safety is a paramount. I didn't pose on YouTube, but please look after my guest. You, you're paying us, right? Yes. If you're paying us, we'll do it. That's the only way I'm gonna save a life. For money. That's we're true heroes. All right, uh, when you said planes, you're not meaning the locked door up here, right? Yeah, okay, just making sure. Kind of figured that would become the play at some point. So you're out here then. Now let's see, the Plains Road is so wide, uh, where should we search? Supposedly she said she was going to take in the scenery. 
So it seems like she wandered away from the road, well, where the road's paved. Well, she's an idiot. Oh man, well, that's going to be really safe, isn't it? But hey, no biggie, let's find her and bring her back. Hopefully all in, all pieces intact. Or in a bag, one or the other. So she's not going to be on the road. Well, there's a lake over here. That's good scenery, right? But it's right next to the road, so... I guess that's not good scenery, then. Uh, probably, like, furthest from the road. Who am I fighting? You guys! I mean, I guess I should probably actually have used art against you or something. I'll quit it. He's playing dead. Well, now he's not playing. Let's move out. I wish Tita was, was with us. Only for, like, the nuking power that she has. That smoke cannon is really good. Like, really good. Is she with the sheep? No. Doesn't seem to be with the sheep. Oh, you know what? I never fought those puffs on the tower. Oh, no! Someone help me! Yeah, I ran right by them again. Did you hear that? Whatever it is, it's not far. Adios, Daddy, Mommy, Nai. Oh, God damn it, Dorothy! Nai, help me! That voice sounds suspiciously familiar. I think you're probably right. Let's hurry. Oh, these are new enemies. Well, they're not new. We fought the wolves before, right? They look different, though. Grr. Okay, come on, puppies. Uh, can't we talk about this? I don't think I taste very good. I mean, I sleep at least 12 hours a day, and I eat lots of veggies, and my skin's all smooth. Are you bragging? Oh, uh, wait. Does being healthy make me seem yummier? Grr. Also, you don't strike me as the healthy type. Eek. I had known if I'd known this was coming, I'd made sure to get paid in advance and had a nice meal. Oh, we killed one. Good job. Huh? You two? <laughs> Just as I expected. No need to worry, Dorothy. What were your names again? God damn, damn, Dorothy. Yeah, it's the same old Dorothy, alright. Or Joshua and Estelle of the Bracer Guild? Uh, I'm just teasing. Fancy meeting you two here. Adidas, give me strength not to leave her to the beasts. Estelle, be on your guard. Okay. Oh, there's a lot more of them in here. Ow, quit it. Stop it? Okay, here we go. Josh, when are you going to act? You're going to act all the way there. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to put this on you. I have a feeling you all are going to come in here for funsies. We're going to put that right there. Oh, I'm a freaking genius. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, uh, that was in turbo mode, but she did. She said you simply look marvelous and took a picture from what it sounded like. Um, we don't need this. I'll have another Hell's Gate on you. Okay, one down, two down. You son of a bitch! Joshua, go kill this thing. Yes, run away from the- No! Um, how much health do you have? Way too much health. Crap. She probably doesn't- She needs this. Alright. Joshua, kill this thing. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. You... Uh, you're kind of weak to that. I want Joshua to kill that one, though. Actually, you know what? The one close to Estelle is probably going to go after her. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. We are good to go. Phew. I don't know how we chased them off, but we did. Also, Dorothy, you need armor. Or something. You, you want to level up? We can go to the tower. You can stay in the back. You can have this giant two-handed sword we found in there. 
I'm sure you'd be able to use it probably after like 20 levels or so. Do they look familiar to you? Yep, yeah, they're the monsters who attack the checkpoint on the monster uh, mountain pass. I wonder what they're doing out here. Well, they look like they have leashes on, so they sound they look like they're owned by someone. Oh, how lovely! You braces are very impressive. Stalin Joshua, it's been such a long time, hasn't it? I never would have thought I'd see you here. Do you think maybe uh, we were destined to meet again? Oh, it's love, Dorothy. Fate is a fickle mistress, all right. So, uh, Dorothy, are you staying at the inn in Elmo by any chance? Why, yes! Hey, how do you know? Oh, I see. Well, isn't that just terrible? Uh-huh. As if you care about anyone else's problems? Uh, so what brings you out here? A little cross-country hiking, maybe? Tiss tiss. You mean you don't even know that much? Chuckle. I see that you haven't gotten any more insightful in our time apart. You're one to talk. What? The answer is actually what I'm looking for. The answer is actually that I'm looking for a photograph that the newspaper needs for a special edition. Oh, and by the way, Niall's the one who assigned this task, so he wants to get rid of you. I see, so it's work. Oh, and, uh, oh, but why would you be looking for that here? Oh, forget it. This wears me out faster than fighting any monster ever did. Aw, oh, poor Stell. Did you get hurt in the battle? Pain, pain, go away. Come again some other day. Or not at all. Would be better, I guess. I'm not injured, I'm just really aggravated at your utter obliviousness. Wow, it's rare for someone to get under Estelle's skin this badly. It's love, Joshua. Get used to it. Estelle, why don't we head back to Elmo? Maybe Tita's, Tita's done fixing the pump? She would have been really useful in that battle, given that she could probably smoke cannon all of those guys and have them miss us and Dorothy. Yes, let's go back. And I think Dorothy will be coming with us. Huh, but I wanted to stay and take more pictures. We are going now. Is that scary. Aw, oh, poor Dorothy. She's just suicidal, really. That's not really smart to come out here. Where are we? We're down there. We're gonna go this way. Yeah, why would you come out here without any protection? Do you see all literally see all the monsters around here? Stop attacking Dorothy! She is a very fragile lady. Literally. Like, you did more than half of her health. I do not approve. God dang it. We can't heal her outside of battle, can we? Oh, my lord. You're so lucky we're at the town entrance, Dorothy. Apparently, it's, it's dusk now. Or evening. Oh, look, there's steam coming out. Hey, you're right. So they do send hot water to the well? I hate drinking hot water, warm water, or yeah, hot or warm water, unless it's like a tea or even like a citrus medicine y drink thingy. What is it like? Um,. What the hell is it like? I want to say like... What the hell is that called? It's like a little packet you pull. It's like... It's it's not really medicine. It's more of like, hey, you're sick? Well, here's this hot citrus, uh, like hot citrus drink that says it will boost your immune system and like make you feel better. All it does is like clear up your sinuses a little bit and just taste good and get your fluids, which is what you need when you're sick. Anyways, looks like the repairs are done. Whistle. Now we can finally use the spa. Yay! Life is good again. Kind of overstating things a bit, aren't you? Do, do you really like the spa that much? Uh-huh. Well, yeah. There's absolutely nothing finer than a tall glass of fruity milk after a hot bath. No. I don't even like strawberry milk, to be quite honest. I mean, strawberry, like, milkshakes? Sure. Just straight up strawberry flavored milk. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and get in. You want us to join you? Oh, I just remembered. Guys, thanks for coming to help me earlier. Have all, I have all my hands and toes and bits because of you two. Yeah, you're right. Pay us? You don't have to thank us for having a good time. Or having good timing. Man, she's such a ditz. Oh, that's Dor Dorothy for you. Anyways, let's get back to the pump shed. 
Okay. Tita's probably still there. Yeah, but like, we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head to my video section, check out some of the content, and see if it's you liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day.